Thanks for joining me. This is the instructions on how to use our touch sensing with our Universal Robots UR cap, utilizing Universal Robots UR10E and Fronius welding equipment. Uh, we supply everything from the air cold push system to our what we have here is our full blown CMT system, which will weld uh, a very broad spectrum of materials in the MIG welding process. So what we have, uh, what we get a lot of times is questions about touch sensing. We do training and talk about this a lot, but until you actually start using it and seeing the application, sometimes just going through it in a, a training uh, session doesn't always get um, uh, everybody all the information they need. So we're going to discuss this at least from a, a start point, and then we can discuss more advanced uh, methods in which to use the touch sensing in later videos. So um, we've got this piece of aluminum here. Um, this is a inside corner joint. Um, we've done some previous videos showing uh, air moves, uh, simple weld moves, uh, home positions, and we've talked about doing strip welds. So let's say we want to do strip welds along this plate and this plate moves on us some. So we need to find that plate movement. Um, there's many ways of doing it, but in this case, we're going to use touch sensing because we know that this plate can move back and forth a little bit, a little bit here and there. Um, our start position is not going to move on us and our end point is not going to move on us at least as far as the length or the position in line with the weld. So our start position is always going to be in the same spot in this direction, but it can move in this direction some. And the same thing with our endpoint. It won't move back and forth uh, in the, the X direction, we would call it, but it can move back and forth in our Z and our Y. So we've got a strip weld that starts here and ends here with four strips. And we want to find where that start position is actually at and where the end position is actually at using touch sensing. So we've got our strip weld and the third node down, which I've just highlighted in the screen, shows us our strip weld. Now we want to find out where that strip weld needs to start and where it needs to end. So we're going to click on the joint move before it and we're going to add a touch sense. So touch sensing uses the, the wire of the weld torch, the welding wire, to actually tactly, tactfully, um, tactily, sorry, tactily uh, find the uh, position of a part through conductivity. Uh, we can also offer a kit for the nozzle as well if you want to use the weld nozzle. But in this case, we're just going to use the wire. That's what most people are used to. Um, so we've added a node on our screen that says touch sensing, and then it says to search one. So in touch sensing, what happens is when you touch off on a part or you set it up initially for the search point, and then it comes back in later and it researches that same uh, edge or the same feature, the difference between where you told it to find this edge versus where it finds that edge is the offset. So we've got to name the offset so we can use it down the road into in actually offsetting our welds. So we're going to give that a name and we're going to call it S underscore start. So as you may have uh, determined, we're going to use that for our start position of the weld. So we've got our name and then we go down to the next position and that's going to be our actual search. So in a search, the search always offsets in the direction of the search path. So we're going to set the wire off the edge of the material a little bit to start our search. Now, the distance that we search is, let's say in this case, it's probably 10 millimeters. So if the part moves towards us up to or a little bit less than 10 millimeters or away from us 10 millimeters from where our search point's at, it will find that distance. If it moves more than 10 millimeters, we won't find it. The search will fail. So we'd have to move our weld torch away based on the magnitude of that movement. So in this case, we don't expect a lot of movement. So we're going to be pretty close, you know, about 10, 12 millimeters. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to set up our search start. And if you notice, search start is the first waypoint on our screen. So we go search start and we press okay. Now we need to tell the robot where to actually find the part, or at least initially where it's supposed to be. So it knows how to offset back and forth. So we're going to create our search point. And in this case, 
we're going to turn on our, our teach mode. And our teach mode, as you've seen in previous videos, it protects the wire from hitting the part, but it's also a great way for us to determine where that wire is actually touching the part. So we're going to bump in our base mode. We're going to bump our robot over in the Y direction until we get that wire. You can hear it in the, in the, in the sound clicking. There we go. So the wire is just barely, barely off the part. So let's call that our search point. And now what will happen is that wire will go or the robot torch will move in that Y direction until it hits the part. Once it sees it, it takes those positions of the original search point and the new point in which it found the part and it calculates the difference and then we'll apply that to our welds. So in this case, this will be our search for our start position and we'll create another one for our end position. To, so to do that, we want to move the robot to this end point. So in this case, we're gonna go uh, and add a move. So we're gonna add an air move and we're gonna just hit create waypoint and we're gonna go back in this Y direction here, press okay. And then we're gonna go over here to about where our uh, end point is for these strip welds. So let's add another, another move and create waypoint and then we'll move all the way down. Make sure we're gonna miss that clamp. There we go. And now that's gonna get us over here to do our next search. So we're gonna add another search. So we add a touch sense here. We're gonna call it S end for search end. Press okay. Now we gotta give it a search obviously. So we're gonna come in and create our search start. So we're gonna move in really close to the part based on how much we think it's gonna move. And it's not gonna move that much. So let's come in here and press okay there. And now we're gonna to go to our end point. So let's create waypoint again. Let's make sure our, our teach mode's on like that. And let's go in and touch the part. There we go, we got a good, good position there. Just kind of tweak it there. All right, so now we have our two searches. And then let's add another air move to come back out of the way because we're gonna want to come into our start. So let's add another move. And we know we're gonna be coming in to the search somewhere here. We could probably get away with adding, and let's do, let's do that, let's get rid of this. And let's just go into our strip weld. In our strip weld, we have approach and, and, uh, approach and retract positions. Um, they're at 10 right now, so if we, if we change that to a larger stick out, we could move over here and hit it, but because that'll increase the magnitude, it slows our welding down. So let's go back and let's just not do that. So let's hit a move. And let's get the robot over here, kind of somewhere to where now it's gonna come in and easily not hit the, 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 um, uh, the clamp. So press create waypoint and press go. Now we have to go into our weld start and our weld end and apply these offsets. So in this case, we have a start and an end, and they have two different searches that need applied to them. So if we go into our movement parameters, we have an offset for the end. So the end position would be search end. And then our offset for a search start would obviously be S start. So now we have everything set up. Let's start the program. And there we have it. Now our strip welds, the start position for all the welds and the end position for the welds is based on our actual search. All right, so let's move the plate a little bit and let's see what happens. Let's give a little, little angle too. Shut our teach mode off. Let's try it again.
So that is the basics of how to set up a search. So to recap, we created a search. We named it search start and we gave it a search of a start point and a two point to the magnitude we, we thought this part would move. We did some linear moves to the end search. We named it S end. And then we did a search here relative. So our end, well, our end of our strip weld was here. So we want to search in that same location so that they're both proportional. So then we put a start point for our search and a two point for our search or the search point. And then it calculated the, the offset based on how much that plate moved. Thanks for coming and watching our videos and uh, we'll add more videos as time goes along uh, with more advanced functionality and of course reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.